Welcome back guys, in today's video, um, I'm going to show you how to make uh, multiple stage rockets. So some of you um, suggested this, so I'm going to make it. So, and what you want is um, two stages, or more, if you need that. And you want to separate these, alright? These stages need to be separated. So, um, yeah. So, first what you want to do is look into the explorer, and what you want to do is select off the two stages main parts so in this it would be here so i'm going to rename this part to stage one like this stage one and um uh, this one right here i'm going to rename to stage two now you can make more stages if you want to but yeah this written down here i'm going to rename to stage two rocket like this stage two engine let's rename it to that and we're going to duplicate that and we're going to put it in here like this and we're going to rename this one to stage one rocket um, stage one rocket like that so that's really simple so now that we have this let's uh, go to the tip and rename that to tip now what you want to do is we want to weld these, right? But first we need to group them. Now what you also want to do is now select all the stage one, everything for stage one, and let's group it. And we can rename this to stage one. Now group the rest like this and rename that to stage two <clears throat> all right good so next what you want to do is you want to take stage two and we're just gonna put it right here for now we're gonna put it right here like that to so there there we go now it is one rocket the thing is we need to weld this together each stage needs to be welded so we're going to go in and select everything inside of the stage to rocket i'm going to aussie pigs welding plugin and weld all you can also use anything else you can also weld them manually but i'm going to do like this so now that we've welded these we're going to go into the stage one i'm going to weld them together all right so next what you can do is you're going to add a, a well constraint inside of stage one rocket that is right here. Oh, this one is renamed. Let's rename uh, stage stage one engine. It's the stage one right here that you want to add a well constraint into. So we're going to add a well constraint into that. Um, well constraint and let's rename this one to stage separation like that simple simple as that guys next uh, what you want to do is go in here and choose part zero to be the parent which is stage one and next select part one which is going to be state inside stage two and that's going to be stage two like that Alright, so next what we want to do is actually make the functionality. So what we're going to do is, we're going to make a button. Um, let's put, put it down like this. I'm going to put a button here. And put it here. Let's make it a little bit bigger so it's easier to click. Let's make it that size, right? And we're going to make this, let's make it... Alright, let's actually make it this color right here perfect guys now next what we're going to rename this is to button or launch and put that in here you have the model rename the model to rocket and then what you want to do is inside of this make sure you anchor it and do not anchor the the actual rocket part only the button Inside of this, we're going to add a click detector, and inside of the click detector, now rename the click detector to launch, and inside of that, you're going to add a script. 
Right. So now delete this, and you're gonna write. Um, you're gonna write script dot parent dot mouse click. Actually, first, what you wanna do is you wanna go into stage one. I actually forgot that, and then go into stage one right here. And inside of stage one, you wanna add a body velocity. Go into body velocity and put the max force to infinite, infinite, and infinite. Make sure you do this, or else it's probably not gonna work. Put the velocity to zero by zero by zero. That now go back into the script. Um, rename the script first to launch script. Like that. And do script dot parent dot mouse click connect function like this. Um, what we're gonna do is we are gonna do so it sets that of course. So we're gonna do um, script dot parent. And so what we're gonna do, so we're gonna do, wait, actually, um, yes, like that. So we're gonna do script dot parent dot, um, parent dot stage one. <coughs> script dot parent, no parent. Uh, oh yeah, dot, dot parent again dot stage one dot stage one which is the stage one here and inside of that you're gonna find body velocity if you have different parts name them different parts here but I would recommend just using these for now so body velocity dot velocity equals vector three dot new make sure you have vector three dot new or else it's not gonna work now choose the speed I'm just gonna choose ten for now like that now here it will lift off and if you see right here what we can do now is we're gonna make it lift off for some while for a while and then wait let's wait 15 seconds and then we're gonna do script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot stage one dot stage one dot stage separation uh, colon destroy now this will destroy the world constraint which will separate it and then we're gonna do wait 15 seconds again and then we just want the rocket to fall back down so we're gonna do um then we can do script dot parent uh, dot parent dot parent dot Stage one dot stage one dot body velocity on destroy like that. Now what you also want to do is you're gonna go in here before that script and you're gonna write <coughs> and script dot parent dot max activation act equals zero like that. All right, so let's try now. Um, should work. Now I haven't added particles yet, we're going to do that afterwards, but I think that you should know how to do that. So that's pretty simple. But let's go in now. Um, should work. I mean, I've done this in my previous games, but this is a very quick tutorial. But yeah. See right there, it lifts off. I'm going to wait 15 seconds for it, and it should separate. Let's keep looking at it. There we go, it separated it. And now we gotta wait 15 more seconds for it to throw that down the last bit. So yeah, it separated that stage, which is kinda cool, right? That was also the goal of the video, but yeah, see now it falls down. The rocket falls down. But of course this does not look very cool, because there's no particles, right? So what you wanna do is just go into the, uh, the stage one engine, and the stage 2 engine we're gonna go into that and what we're gonna do is you're gonna go in to this one let's go into that and then let's actually make the base plate invisible for now so we can actually see what we're doing 
Now we're going to go into the stage two engine because that's the thing we're going to managing going to be managing first, and we're going to go into um and search particle manager. Now we're going to add that, and as you see, it's going up. Now we don't want it to go up; we want it to go downwards. So emission direction needs to be bottom, um, like this. So that goes down. Now you might have seen that. That's not that cool, right? Because why is it doing like that? Why is it going like that? What you want to do, you're going to add the rate and the size is kind of weird, you know. So the rate you want to change, so just change that. Like this. There you go. So now it makes a lot of it. And we're going to make um, this, the size. Now... Of course, this is not that cool because um, there's too many of them, right? So, what you want to do is you want to create a really small part. So, just um, create a really small part. All that lag. So duplicate the stage one engine. Rename that one to particles. And delete the old one. And as you see right here, it's up there because of collisions. So I'm going to take particles all the way down here. And turn the transparency to 1. And put the size, oops, put the size here to 0 by 0 by 0. And then make it 0 by 0 by 5. So that will make this line right here. And that's perfect. Now I'm going to go in here. And it may, it, in here it says sparkles, main DDS, you want to change that to smoke. And then it will look like this, which looks a lot better. And then go in here and change that color to orange. Now you may think that this does not look like fire at all, uh, because you want to go into light emission and light influence. Now you can change it in here. And just keep on going like this. Now that looks pretty weird because the shadow... Still there, so Look at that that looks kind of weird. So you should probably do like this. And now you want to open up the welding again. Stage of plugins, welding, weld all. And you're gonna go in here, duplicate the particles, and put that one into stage one. You want to find uh, where the other engine is located. Let's put it right here right here and what we're gonna do is uh, yeah that one is also particles so you can go in here plugins welding weld all like that now it's welded pretty well and yeah all right so what we're gonna do is go into the particles and you're gonna make the particles not visible so you're gonna put enable to false and you're gonna go in here launch script and when it's clicked, you want to make it so it's showing it. So we're going to do script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot stage one dot and dot particles dot particle emitter dot enabled equals false. Now equals true. Like this. And you're going to add that also uh, into. Um, the stage separation like this so when that separates we're gonna put it in onto false and then we're gonna do paste that again and then stage two like that and then we're gonna do it now down here I'm gonna put it into false so now that should work fine and fine and all and all and yeah so let, let's go back here and make the base plate non transparent anymore. Let's make it look better. So yeah. Yeah, sorry this video is like fifty minutes, but that's okay I guess. Um let's go in here. Let's test it. Um so yeah. Let's test that guys. That's cool. Um so let, we're in now. Um the script isn't that complicated actually, but yeah. See there, it lifts off, and it creates the, the trail of fire. Um, yeah.
kind of cool, right? So now it has the trail of fire. And let's wait for it to separate. There you go, it's separated. And then it keeps flying up. And, yeah, I would recommend using a regen button, or else this would probably not work. Um, I don't know for sure what's going on here. Oh yeah, it stopped now, and it falls down. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I'll leave the model in the description below for you to take. Um, I've seen a lot of people have had some errors with it, but um, I just want to say, I think you probably did something wrong, because, I mean, there was proof in the video that mine worked, so, I mean, yeah. Um, but, as you can see right here, there's pretty much glitches, so you want to add a regen button, so yeah, or regenerate button, or whatever it's called. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, see you in the next video, bye.